Hey, hey, I know it's been a while since I've seen you guys, but I'm back. Today, I'm going to share with you guys some curly hair from Toyo Tress. This is their Rock Tress Jamaican Bounce in 10 inches. And this hair is really, really cute. It's full, it's bouncy, and very luscious hair. So this is my normal braid pattern that I always use. It's two anchor braids straight across in the back to relieve tension off the nape of your neck. It is... Um, two braids up the side so one braid up each side and then one crisscross braid at the top um, this braid pattern is going to give you the maximum amount of versatility so you can have a side part and a middle part a side part on either side and a middle part so you're going to just grab one piece of the um, Jamaican bounce hair and you're going to place it on the first braid at the bottom and you're only going to put three pieces on this because this hair is really full and really bouncy so you don't want to overfill the hair so i only put three pieces on that first braid and then that second braid i only put four pieces and i just stagger them um, so that they're not like directly on top of each other they kind of just fall in the open spaces in between and for the back of the head i only used about I only used about two and a half packs in the back, two and a half of the eight of the six piece uh, bundle pack, only used two and a half. And then in the front, I used about one and a half on either side. So this whole style, I didn't even use all six of the bundle of the bundles that came in the six pack. I probably only used about five um, or so. I didn't want to overly fill this hair because it is very full. So this is what two of the bundle pack looks like. So I use two bundles to fill almost all the way to the top of the back of my head. So at the top to get maximum coverage across the cornrows, I always just um, crochet into the cornrow. And then um, if I feel like I need a little more coverage, I will crochet into the flat part of the cornrow, um, like where the hair is just meeting the cornrow. Then on these side braids, I went ahead and cornrow. I went ahead and used the regular crochet method, but then at the top of the side braids, I ended up using the invisible crochet method where you pull one end of the hair through and then you just tie the knot in between the two pieces of hair. So just again, you just um, crochet and instead of pulling both ends of the crochet through the through the loop, you only pull one end of the crochet hair through and that's the invisible knot technique that I used at the top. This is the end result day one I did um, trim it a little bit and um, I just threw my bonnet on and had a bunch of running around and errands to do that day so this is actually um, the next day where I um, just filled in in those like little blank areas that I wanted to fill some hair into and this is how I do the blending to um, sort of disguise all the knots and loops that crochet leaves behind I just take one piece of hair I cut it um, a little shorter and then I separate it as many times as I can probably like four times or so and then I just crochet these small thin pieces into any areas where I want to to disguise the knots um, so I'll do it like right around the perimeter and right where I'm going to be wearing my um, parting areas at because I don't want to see the knots and the crochet loops so I definitely add these little pieces in and then I go ahead and tease them out so they almost start to just look like a little frizzy so I just separate them a bunch of times after I install them and then I go back with a small little um, edge edge brush and I'll just like 
make them a little frizzy so that they kind of just disguise all the cornrows and all the um, all the loops and knots that the crochet kind of leaves behind and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute Now that the shorter pieces are installed, I do want to sort of separate the crochet um, bounce here. I just separate it a little bit at the top. I try not to disturb the ends too much. I just separate it like at the roots. Then I grab my edge brush and just tease out um, those little short pieces that I um, installed. And it just gives you a lot of good coverage and just disguises all the loops and just makes the hair look really natural and um, makes the, the crochet look really invisible. see too much of the braid or you see too much of the loop you can always just add another little piece in frizz it up and get the coverage that you're looking for and then of course the last step you want to take out your braid uh, that's just a little bit of leave out for extra coverage. You wanna take that out and just brush it into the crochet. I used the edge brush, but you can use any brush you want to just blend your own natural hair into the crochet. So I'm just brushing it back to blend it in. And then you're gonna to wanna to, um, trim your crochet. Please, please, please do not forget this step. This step is so crucial to your hair looking natural, framing your face, and just looking um, like it's it's really natural and flowing well. Um, I always give my crochet a good cut, and uh, it just it just looks really great when you give it a nice trim. <music> So pleased with this hair the way it came out is super super pretty I love this technique that I did this time and of course the braid pattern is amazing I've been using this braid pattern for the longest so if you haven't already definitely give it a try um, of course for me no style is complete without my baby hairs I am a baby hair fiend you do not have to do this step but I never skip it um, I use my Glee Made Edge Control if you want to grab that. It is available on Amazon Prime. I'll leave links down below um, so you can go ahead and grab that. This hair is also from Amazon. I'll leave links down below where you can grab this hair as well. Um, yeah, so I just tied off my baby hairs, took the scarf off, and this is the end result. I really, really love it. Again, the install is very versatile. Um, you just find your part. You got your side part. Let me take a picture.
you guys so this is the finished look i absolutely love it let me know what you guys think down in the comments below um, i will leave links to this hair down below this is hair from amazon so i'll go ahead and link um the amazon um the hair down below as well as whatever products i use so that you guys can grab it and yeah i will talk to you guys in the next one peace